Good morning, old school fans. <laughs> <laughs> right. Today, we're going to work outside because it's only going to be maybe 100 here today, so that's nice. Kind of like a spring day in Texas. Yeah, So, but we're going to go ahead and try to get the outside uh, the water tank install fresh water underneath the belly of the bus. Uh, we're going to try to use some Unistrut and some all thread. Don't really have a plan. Just, you know, it's kind of like start putting it together and when it stays up there, we're done. Yeah, see what happens. Yeah, we'll right? see what happens. <laughs> uh, we'd bought a 30 gallon. Wish we'd have bought bigger, but we don't live here. We have a compost toilet, so we're talking about baths and washing dishes and hands. So, yeah, you know, we've got a 10 gallon reserve. So I think we'll be okay, but if not, I'm gonna build it so that I can swap the tank out if it gets to be a big issue later. Yep, um, trying to plan for the future. We have grandchildren here somewhere, so they'll probably lurk in and out. Yeah, they may or may not be in parts of this video, but you know, it's morning and they're teenagers, so. so they're asleep. <laughs> All right, you All right, ready? Let's go. Let's get to it. Got a bolt hat. You've got bolts that you've got to roll up. Use a piece of tape. Uh, and a grandson. And a grandson. <laughs> All right. So first thing you're gonna want to do after you cut a piece of all thread is you're gonna take your angle grinder. You're gonna knock off all the pieces that just kinda look, you wanna try and make it flat, essentially. And then you're gonna take your nut and you're gonna slowly twist it off. You don't wanna go too fast because you might end up stripping the bolt. But if you slowly twist it off, after all that excess metal has been knocked off, you can re-thread that and pull up any metal that's already uh, not uh, on the all thread. That came up after we threaded it all the way around. So now I can take a pair of pliers or something and I can just kind of pry that up. Use your fingers if you want to. And now it's gone. Then you just take your nut. And thread it right back on. And voila. There you go. Full tax. Just putting on nuts so we can use them as the die when we, for when we cut the all thread. Just put some on, use your drill. That saves a lot of twisting. Oh. 
Okay, so I've got some Rust-Oleum undercoating Pro Grade, and it's rubberized black. I'm going to coat the uh, base of what will be our water tank um, holder support system um, in this on both sides just to keep from rubbing happening while we're going down the road. Scott, can you explain basically what you're trying to do here? I've got new strut going across the main beam. All thread coming straight down. There'll be another piece of unit strut under here. And then we slide the tank in with the angle iron there and the angle iron here. Okay. And I don't read that. Oh, go ahead, tack weld these bars just one hit just to keep them from sliding just to say we did and how do you keep the inner struts up on those top beams they've got nuts bolts and lock work okay Burgers to feed the masses. <laughs> so uh, we'll catch you in a minute.
Strippers allowed. kids with us this week to help out with the bus. A hard chore is always a lot more fun in good company. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Please remember to like and subscribe and share the link with your friends so we can get the word out. See you next time.